Welcome back, y'all. Today we're going to be doing What If Karama was still in Sasuke 2. I was not going to make the same mistake as I usually do and say, What if Sasuke had Karama still to him? It's two ways to say this. But the way I'm saying it is where it's plural because of the two. There you go. Okay. I'm going to conclude OBO's training by saying this. So when OBO was training, they was trained to, like, don't you know how uh, Obito... Basically, I got this idea from watching uh, the five o the five Kage summit, and basically they able to summon summon a uh, what's it called a Zetsu behind them, and they able to uh, basically push yourself off the Zetsu. So if they fall and they summon a Zetsu, and they take no fall damage, also they both unlock Renegade because they they was pushed in with Hashirama cells. Both of them in moderate cells. Naruto has an internal mind Gekio Sharingan. And Sasuke has his father's eyes giving him the internal mind Gekio Sharingan. And because of the Renegon, they basically are overpowered. And Obito's starts to get a. Um, well, starts to turn good again because of Naruto's personality. And plus, talk no jutsu every day trying to. Obito, I know you've been through all this. And basically doing, basically trying to turn him. But at the end of the training, Naruto's personality rubs off on Obito and he goes basically back to the good side. Now let's give, let's get a brief estimate of Naruto and them power. So Naruto can control, cannot control the QB because Obito, I don't think he would be trying to train Naruto at the start to control the QB. It's only been three years, by the way. So... Let's start off. Naruto has wood style, so all the wood you two. He's a um, because of training with Obito, and you know Obito went head to head with Kakashi, so he's a Taijutsu. He's really good at Taijutsu. He also created the um, rising Chidori drill from practicing with the Chidori and uh, Rasengan. He also can summon the toads with these. Now I've been drawing from. Well, he can draw like one tail on his own. When he genjutsu the QB, but he's not able to fully control. Same for Sasuke. I gave him two tails in the feed because I wasn't trying to do you no know, scaling, but I could still try to make it fun. But now he turned up to the village. And they all go back to the village. Obito is really good. Kakashi and Obito have a moment. Basically, like, Kakashi sees Obito and he's just astonished. He's like, I miss you. I thought I had lost everything, basically. And to see that, and, um, uh, what's it called? Obito gets Tsunade to heal his, um, half his body so he can stop having Zetsu right now. Right there, it's actually just a uh, full actual human skin. Hint, hint. He's still gonna have his, uh, what's it called? Zetsu powers. I'm still keeping those. And they're going to go hunt down the Akatsuki. Now, I'm going to say Obito knows a lot about the Akatsuki. And they don't know that he's uh, good now. But their most, their two top targets they want, well, the three top ones are for Naruto and Sasuke Itachi. Well, that's their only top target. But the other two is, well, the other three is Pain, Kakazu and he died because of the immortality stuff they got. So that's going to be something. But I know Obito. So the teams are going to be. Basically Obito tells everything he needs to each person. And also. um Kakashi. Obito finds out a way to give Kakashi no strain when using the Sharingan. So the teams are going to be Sasuke. And. Um. Kakashi and Obito and Naruto. They're gonna head out to take out the three main targets. And then after they take out three main targets, well, after they take out uh, a few of the main targets, they go after the rest. Of them. So, I'll be ending it here because I, guess I need to get stuff done shorter than usual. It was just like a little time skip for y'all.